We are Reverend Concepts, and this is Coaching in Session, a podcast that helps people with their mindset. Everything about mindset, whether you're talking about your relationship, your career, just general life, your kids, you name it, we talk about the mindset aspect of it. If you have been with us for the first 200 episodes or the first 199 episodes, this is episode 200, you will notice the journey that we have been on, trying to help you get to a better and stronger mindset, helping you change the quality of your thoughts to ask the questions that sometimes we often forget or we pass by because it's easy for the mind to understand. I want this. I like this. I need this. But sometimes what we really need is we need a kick in the butt or we need to be reminded just how powerful we are, just that we can go out and we can get whatever we want in our life. The issue that many people have is that they have this block in their mind, this wall that they have created, whether it be because of the limiting beliefs of the school systems, of their parents, of their friends, their peer groups, whoever it was who gave you that limiting belief, it doesn't serve you anymore. You have the ability, you have the power to change your whole entire life around. And what we do here at Riven Concepts, here with Coaching in Session, is we help people get over that slump, help people turn never around and to turn those limiting beliefs into possibilities. Oftentimes, many people, they look at their circumstances and that is what they get. They get exactly what they think. The quality of their thoughts, what they think becomes reality. If we're thinking negative, if we're thinking in a pessimistic way, it's going to be difficult for us to take action. So many of us don't take action. How can we get into the mindset to start to take more action? And that is what Coaching in Session does. Coaching in Session is a podcast that helps people, individuals who are listeners, understand that there's going to be help out there. There's several reasons why I bring other coaches on to Coaching in Session. The first reason is you're going to have a different flavor of coach. You might not like how I teach, how I approach things, because it might be too raunchy, it might be too rugged, rigid, right? I'm a very strict and I'm a very direct person. So if something is wrong, you're going to know it. If I don't like something, you're going to know it. That is just how I live my life. That is how I help my clients understand that they can live their life too. What you decide is what you decide. And oftentimes, many people just lie down and they wait to be told what to do, or they wait for death, or they wait for luck or for an opportunity, rather than going out and grabbing it. We need to change our mindset in order to be go-getters rather than people who are just complacent. And that's what I do. That's what I have in my personality, in my toolbox. I help people be go-getters. And yes, that's a wonderful trait to have in a coach, being a go-getter. But sometimes you need a gentle approach. And I have wonderful coaches, male and female coaches, that have a more gentle touch than I do. Not saying that their touch or the way they coach is any less efficient than how I coach. It's all about personality. And I knew from me being a teacher, all the different personalities that I would get in a classroom, and I would get a classroom of 25, 30 kids, every single one of them had a different personality. How can I be an effective educator and teach these children with all these different personalities? I had to mix it up. So it's like sugar and spice, and then you find the right mix for every classroom, for every student, and that's what you give them. That's what you serve them. But when we're adults, it's difficult to include everyone into the mix. Okay, you need this, you need this, because as adults, what we do is we have all these hardships, all these problems, all these difficulties that we are trying to deal with. And what we are trying to accomplish is just making it through the day. And we don't necessarily want to share our problems with the world, with other people, because then they might say, oh, that's not a big deal, but little you. When in reality, all we really want is for someone to acknowledge us, someone to understand the troubles and the trials and tribulations we go through every single day. It's difficult sometimes to find someone who has the same wavelength, the same pattern as you do. And what coaching a session does and what I had in mind for it was not 200 episodes, number one. I never thought I would be at 200 episodes because I always said, I'm going to stop at episode 100. I always said, if I have a podcast, I will stop at episode 100. But I just couldn't. There was just too much to say. There's just so much more that had to be done. So we kept on going. And now it has developed into this beast of a thing that helps people find a coach, find someone who's going to help them understand them. And it might be just one person. It might be 10 people. It, it doesn't necessarily matter how many people we help with our guests or with my coaching and my career or with the work we do here at Reverend Concepts. What we want is to create that ripple, create that difference. And we start with one person at a time. We have one guest at a time. 
Maybe in the future, I might have multiple guests on at a time. I had someone who wanted to be on the podcast and they were going to be a duo. It was going to have two people. Sadly, it didn't work out that way. But nonetheless, we still bring you quality coaches and we make sure that we do our due diligence and we make sure we present to you coaches that are going to do some benefit into someone's life. Now, you might have a totally different view than someone. You might have someone who's very prideful, very driven. Maybe if we start to look at world culture, feminism, misogyny, all of those different hateful types of things or the mindsets that many people give themselves, there's going to be people who have those mindsets. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. There's nothing wrong with someone having a different type of mindset than you do. If someone wants to be a BLM supporter, if someone wants to be a Republican or a Democratic supporter, that's them. We are not trying to point fingers here at Coaching Session or Revenue Concepts. You can have any type of mindset you want. You choose what mindset you want. Oftentimes, many people don't choose what mindset they get or have. They simply accept the mindset that was developed or that was formed because of their circumstances or their life or their path that they were on. The problem with that is that you cannot live your life just going through with what you had sometimes. Sometimes you have to figure out what you have and then you have to figure out if this is the lifestyle you want for the end too. We just look at today instead of the future. But the future has power too. The future can hold more than our todays. Our today is essential because it helps us understand, okay, I have to do this, right? Because if we don't do it today, we don't do it tomorrow, we're not going to do it for the future, right? It doesn't develop into that. But if you start to make the habits, develop the habits that you need for your future, for the mindset that you want or the life that you want, you're going to start to see that this podcast starts to ask questions and relieve breadcrumbs in every episode that gives you an understanding of, oh, I have to do this or, oh, I want this in my life. Oh, this is a wake up call for me because I would rather have people become better without the trauma without that severe emotional impact on their life, their mind. And just to say, I want this in my life. How can I be a go-getter? Going past the natural human tendencies of the brain to take it easy, be lackadaisical, to want these grandiose things, but not want to take the action. Reverting that and getting that out of our mind and starting to take action, deliberate action every single day, that is going to be more impactful for our future. Now, there's many things that have to be addressed before that happens. Society, it might be going in a tailspin, right? We are always worried about what's next, whether it be a pandemic, whether it be inflation, recessions, war, you name it. There's a lot of negativity that the brain can focus on. However, just because it's there doesn't necessarily mean we have to ruminate it constantly. You might have loved ones that might have been affected by this. You might be even in it also. You might be late behind your mortgage trying to figure out how can I make a difference. And oftentimes the mindset that we have with money, with war, with politics, that can keep us where we are. So if you consistently find yourself in a place where you're not satisfied or that your life is not moving in the place or the speed or the trajectory that you want it to, perhaps you might have to change your mindset. Well, how do you change your mindset, right? We have wonderful coaches here in Coaching and Session that come on and they speak their piece. And one of the things I love more than anything with the podcast, with what we do here in Coaching and Session, is the idea of wisdom, where we help people get into a better state of mind with wisdom. How can this wisdom help you? How can our experiences help you in your life so you don't have to have as much trial and error as we did? Because many of the coaches that come on do have a fair amount of trial and error, fair amount of real world experience that they can say, hey, this is what I went through. This is what I did. And this is what worked for me. So we get a good indication of what we have to do. And that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to be bringing you personal development resources, motivational videos, coaches, mindsets that are going to be helping you get to a better tomorrow, better life, better now. And I was thinking, just because this is my podcast, but this is our podcast too. This is a podcast that is for the people where we do something that's going to be beneficial for the people. On Mondays, I want to give you a blog that I wrote. There's something in that blog that can click for you. I have clients who read my blogs and they say, hey, I read that blog that you did last week. It rang true to me. Or if they ask me, hey, Michael, I'm going through this problems. I'll give them a blog. They read it. They said, this is exactly what I needed. 
And I understand there's a lot of reading material on my website. There's a lot of videos on my YouTube channel and the podcast. And I'm not expecting you to watch every single episode. I want you to find out what you need for yourself in the search windows and you can type in what you need and something should come up and it is going to have something that's going to catch you, the title, the description, where you may say, oh, this is exactly what I need. And you find out what you need because as we move in life, we're going to need different things. And as we go on the journey for mindset, we're going to need different things for it to grow. Similar to how if you have a garden, you might notice that your garden is doing well, but then your leaves start to turn yellow. The reason why your leaves turn yellow is because that the soil is having an iron deficiency issue. You might be thinking, well, why are we talking about gardening? This is a mindset issue. Well, if we think about how that soil becomes deficient in iron, our mind can become deficient in motivation, personal development, courage, you name it. We have to learn to understand what we need in our life, what is missing, and then start to make changes. And the issue what's going on is that many people, they just kind of allow their current soil, their current mindset, their current way of thinking, push them through. So they're not operating at 100% efficiency and they're slowly on that decline. And then they wonder why life is getting more difficult, why they're becoming more lethargic, why they're filling life with more worry and negativity. And it's because we're not giving ourselves what we need. And to have a healthy dose of motivation of personal development, of self-care. We do that in all of our episodes here at Coaching and Session, where we're trying to help you get into the mindset of what's happening, what might be happening in your mind, and then learning how to fix it. When the podcast had begun episode one, I didn't necessarily have a format that I wanted to go with. I knew I wanted to talk about mindset and all the different things, and we did Workshop Wednesday. I mean, I'm dating the episodes now. But we developed a system that, okay, Monday is going to be blogs and then Wednesdays and Fridays, we're going to have a guest coach come on or guest founder or guest author or doctor or someone who helps people become better. I said to myself, there are so many other things that are happening in the world that I can't address because I don't have the time. And there's going to be three episodes a week and even three episodes. My mom always tells me, you're putting out too many episodes, Michael. And I always say, no, I'm not. I should be putting out more, to be honest. But with the clients that I have, the work schedule that I have, it's difficult for me to get away and to constantly bring you a podcast or to constantly bring you content because I always have to find time in between my days and my schedule to write, to meet with clients. And if you know anything about my coaching program is I have a revolving schedule. So you don't have to have the same meeting time every single week. You want to meet with me Monday and you want to meet with me Thursday the next week or the week after, you can do that. You have a link. and. You also have access to me for that month of coaching. We operate on a subscription-based coaching. So if you want to text me, text me. Calls are typically not going to be answered because either I'm working with another client, I'm recording, there's something going on. And so I don't necessarily have the luxury of answering everyone's phone call. Sometimes I do. I'm not saying that I don't just answer phone calls. So if someone's calling me and I'm available, I say, hey, what's going on? And if we want to move up their session, we can. Because sometimes someone might say, hey, I just had a big argument with my spouse and we're trying to figure out what to do next. I said, well, not a problem. I said, we still have three sessions on the books. You want to use one of them right now? Yeah, sure, Michael. Let's do that. That's easy. Versus, oh, sorry, uh, XYZ person, your session is not until next week. You can't have a session with me. That doesn't work, right? So I try to remain as flexible as possible. I go well past business hours just to make sure that the client's needs are being met above and beyond. I try to go above and beyond for all my clients because I understand investing in yourself and then making sure you get the best investment that you possibly can helps the mindset. Similar to how if you invest in stocks and your stocks do bad or poorly, you're probably not going to invest in that stock again for quite some time. You're going to be kind of hurt. You're like, oh, have a bad taste in your mouth. But there's a way that we can make this work to work for their schedule, work for my schedule, work for everyone, right? So we have a limit of clients. So sometimes I have to give clients away. Why do you think I have all these wonderful coaches coming on coaching in session? Because they're going to be helping me with the balance. I know I can't help all the people in the world. So I have to create a team and it doesn't have to be Reverend Concepts umbrella. It could be whatever umbrella that they're currently under and they come on the podcast and if you don't understand the branding, the episodes have Reverend Concepts on them their intro, their outro, it's Reverend Concepts. What goes on in between the episode? Of course, I don't have to brand it because I'm in the episode. 
I'm the spokesman. I'm the person that is presenting what we are, who we are, what we are going to accomplish, what we're going to do. So we have a mission to continue to offer mindset, to continue to create great mindsets in the world, in your life. And the way we do that is through podcasting, personal development resources, motivational videos, and then being there when you have questions, whether you go to Instagram, Facebook, any of our social medias, and you reach out to us and you say, hey, I'm having this issue. LinkedIn especially. I'll have a lot of people message me on LinkedIn. And we would just have like a you know, couple you know, back and forths give them some opinion, give them some popular belief or whatever they need in order for them to be, you know, make their next move. And if they want to go further from that next move, of course, set them for coaching. And we can do all of the work because a lot of people, they want free. But the problem with free is that if you don't have any skin in the game, you're not going to be as effective. You're not going to take as much massive action because it was free. If you got something free and you didn't like it, you'll toss it away. But if you paid for something, the mind says, I invested in this. I'm going to make it work. And of course, there's going to be areas where maybe sometimes it's not going to be that, where even if you invest in yourself, you might not even care. Oh, I spent $50,000 on coaching. It's not going to matter to me if I do the sessions or if I don't do the sessions or if I change my life or if I don't change my life, depending on the person. Everyone's going to have different resources. I have worked with billionaires who have an abundance of resources. They get charged the same. I expect the same from them as I expect the same as the person who's making $30,000 a year. Why are they able to see it? Because they look at my life and they say, wow, you're talking the talk and you're walking the walk. And I'm a big believer in that. If you can't walk the walk and you can't talk the talk, get off the stage. If you're a coach and you think you can come on this podcast and not talk the talk and walk the walk, you're not going to air. I have many people, whether it be LinkedIn, the websites that I get my guests from reaching out to me, they want to come on the podcast. They have something to say. They have something to share. But I have to judge their character. I have to judge their work ethic. I have to judge what they say, their mindset. And I make sure that the mindset that I present is not someone who's just going to have a weak mindset that can't help you. And that when you reach out to them, it's about quality control. I want you to get the best. I want the best for you. And I know it can be difficult for a person, especially in the West, that if someone has good intentions for you, you're a bit off put. You're like, oh, I don't know if this person's going to be good for me. And I'm going to be saying things that are going to be, again, unpopular. You're not going to like everything I say because sometimes the truth hurts or my opinion is going to hurt. And typically when I say my opinion, I believe, I think that's just me. It doesn't have to be yours. And I think we have lost that cordiality that many people think that, oh, if you don't think the same way as I do, then I can't be associated with you or I can't listen to your podcast. It's about having differences. And I have many guests that have differences that have been on air too. They'll be thinking in a certain way and I just question them, but I don't berate them. I don't necessarily make them feel belittled or that I have to challenge them because that's their belief. That's their mindset. And I'm not in the business of changing a mindset that is helping someone. But if you're in a mindset that's not helping anyone or not helping yourself, how can we make that better? How can we grow from there? And that's what I aim to do. And going forward, Mondays is still going to be a blog day. Wednesdays are going to be an optional guest day. So that means if there's anything up and coming, popular, that happened in the news, whether it be war, politics, there's cancel culture going in, attacking someone. We're going to talk about it on Wednesday. And whatever guest was scheduled that day, we'll just have to move to the next available Friday. From that available Friday, they stay there. The Friday guests that are scheduled that you will see on YouTube, they have like a promo or premiere video link or thumbnail that you can see this guest is scheduled for this day. Wednesdays are going to be the only day that I will move a guest to a Friday. So they will find a permanent time a month or two months down the road. but. If there's something going on that I want to speak about, Wednesdays are going to be my flex days now. So that means that going forward, the podcast is going to be Mondays, blog days, Wednesdays, guest or flex day, and then Fridays will be a guest day. So you can still get all of your wonderful coaches, get the different perspective, get the different types of wisdom from different type of people, and then also stay in the loop on Wednesdays if anything major happens in the world, especially if there's something big like a pandemic. That's huge on the mindset. We want to make sure that you're getting the mindset care that you need. 
and it can be difficult sometimes to find someone that you can trust. But having the opportunity to listen to different coaches, to different perspectives, to different episodes, to reading different blogs, gives you the ability to make a choice, to make an educated decision. Because you're going to believe things, you're going to be more inclined to move in a certain way from your upbringing, from your value system, from your identity that you have created. And maybe you want to do an overhaul. If you want to do an overhaul, I always recommend getting a coach. It doesn't have to be me. It can be anyone in the world. But get yourself a coach if you want to do a complete overhaul of your life. If you find what you're doing doesn't work, then find someone who's going to help get you to that life that you want. And it might not be as simple as, okay, I hired a coach. My life is automatically better. You have to do the work. There has to be some work involved with mindset. So I do want to thank everyone. Episode 200 is such a big deal. It's amazing consistency on my end to making sure the episodes come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and to make sure that the quality is coming out the way I want it to. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, and it's like a love that has to be there for the episode to come out well. I do my best to make sure that you get the best quality video, the best quality audio. When you're listening to this episode, it sounds very pleasing to the air. And I had many guests, they say, oh, I enjoy your voice. You're so calm. You're like water. Well, if that is the case, then I'm all for continuing on the podcast. I plan to keep the podcast going. I don't know when the podcast will end. I might never end where we're just going on and we're talking about mindset. We're talking about society. And my schedule might become so hectic where I won't be able to do the podcast or I will have the podcast, but there'll be maybe a different host. I'm not necessarily sure how that's going to work later on, but as things are now, I can record a 30-minute episode, have it edited by an editor, and then me recheck the edit because quality control is what I want. I want to make sure that the episode that I'm going to give you is something that I would listen to. If it's something that I won't listen to, then I'm not going to air it. I have had guests come on the podcast. We do the podcast. I either edit a whole bunch of what they said out because I wouldn't listen to it. Or I don't air the episode because either the audio is bad or the video is bad or something went wrong with the episode. And it's not that that guest is a bad person. It's just that the quality wasn't there. And even me, I remember, I think it was like early episode 100s where I was recording episodes. I would listen to the whole episode and I would just delete the whole episode. Even myself, the quality control has to be there. And I know I'm going on a rant, I'm doing a lecture here, but I do want you to understand what's coming next in coaching and session. What's going to be coming next in Revan Concepts? Because we're continuing to elevate, we're continuing to raise the bar, we're continuing to challenge the minds of the world so that they can determine exactly how they want to move and what they want for themselves. So if you want more for yourself, if you want to continue to support the podcast and just watch and listen, I welcome you and I welcome the new mindset that you're going to attain just by watching, just by listening, just by being a part of the movement of changing the mindset of turning limiting beliefs around and then making the best out of your life. Because if your life can be good, imagine what good can you do for the world? My name is Michael Reardon. I'm a mindset coach. If you have any questions, you can email me coachingandsession at gmail.com and I will see everyone on the next episode of Coaching and Session. Until then, take care.